Hi, it's Emily and this is my dog Coco. Coco recently got spayed just a few days ago and she's recovering really well. I would love to share a few useful tips that I got from my niece, Adelie, that works at the vet clinic that I took Coco to. So when they get spayed, they end up coming home with the cone of shame. So when Coco came home from the vet, she was just wearing a simple collar and we had some trouble keeping the cone on during the car ride home because there's only one loop in the collar and there are two strings to attach this to. So if you'll notice, when we put the cone on, good girl, Coco, and go to fix the ears, then you have these two long straps and only one little loop to put these in. So it kind of wobbles around a lot, especially this because it's so big for Coco. I know it's too big. So Adelie told me when I get home to take off the collar and put a harness on. So let me show you how much better the cone stays on with a harness. Good girl, Coco. And then after that, I'm going to show you an even better option than the cone and the harness. So see, once I've got the harness on, not only is it further back, but you have two loops to attach it to. So it stays a lot more secure. So then when you put the cone on, You have both, good girl, Coco, you're a good bottle, but I need you to duck down. Good, good girl. So now I have two loops to put these through. So I just put one in each and then just tie a bow. And then it's easy to get undone, but it's so much more secure this way. And it doesn't fall off. She can't get it off like she did with the collar and it's much more secure. So there's the cone, a better way to wear the cone with the harness. But Adelie also told me that there's a recovery suit. It's called a surgery recovery suit for dogs and it's on Amazon and I will link this because this has been a complete lifesaver. So let me show you what that looks like. It just looks like a really cute pair of pajamas for your dog. So Coco's incision is right here. So what we're trying to do with the surgery recovery suit is just cover that area. And you'll see it's reinforced right here. We're trying to cover that area so she can't lick it and get the stitches out. She looks so cute in it, like a little baby. It's like dressing your kid again with the arms, one arm through. But there's several great things about this suit, okay? So then it has the Velcro on the back and it goes underneath. Let's see if we can get a good picture of this. It goes underneath, so then it covers up her incision and she really doesn't mind wearing this suit that much. And then look, her little tail sticks out. Look how cute this is. Her incision is 100% covered and she can't get to it. And this has worked so well. And then we can avoid wearing the cone. Right, Coco? Right, she likes it. And doesn't she look cute in it? It's just like a little onesie. So I would rather have Coco wear this and I know she would rather wear this than this big cumbersome cone. This is actually really heavy. And when she would wear it, all she would do is just lay her head down and stay in the same spot that I put her. Coco has done so well with this onesie. If you don't 100% trust your dog, you can put the cone on if you go somewhere. Um, but Coco's been so good. She doesn't bother it. Um, she doesn't try to bite through it. So she's done really well with this. And here's the great thing about this. When they need to go outside and go potty, you just have to undo the Velcro 
And this is really clever. You undo the Velcro on both sides. Coco, you want to go outside go potty? So then watch this. You take the pieces of Velcro, put them up front, and then take the other ones under and Velcro them. And then it just kind of turns into a shirt. And then she can go outside and go potty because it's not covered anymore. Right, Coco? Is that good? Or you can just take the whole thing off. So I have had her sleep in this at night and then she pretty much wears this all day long except if she's outside and then I'll either put it up and normally I'll take it off and let her breathe for a minute. This has been a game changer for us. Right, Coco? She's much happier than wearing the cone and her incision's doing great. So just about another week and then she'll be free and all healed up. Um, Coco also got her teeth cleaned. I figured we would just do it while she was out, while she was put under. So she has nice clean teeth and she got spayed. So she's gonna be happy when she's all recovered. Right, Coco, you're such a good girl. Yeah, she's a good dog. And these surgery recovery suits are not just for when your animal gets spayed. And also these come in a male version for dogs that get neutered. Um, but I'll tell you what else these are good for. So Coco had a batch of puppies. Um, this was a few months ago and they did not want to be weaned. They just wanted to keep nursing and Coco would try to get away from them. But this suit covers up all their nipples. So this can also be used to wean the puppies. And also another thing it mentions on Amazon is you can put this on when they're in heat. So it's got multiple uses, but for sure, for sure, this has been so great for covering Coco's incision and we've loved it. So thank you, Adelie, for these great tips. If you're going to use the cone, use a harness to keep it more stable and keep it from falling off. And if you want a simpler way to protect the incision, go ahead and order one of these surgery recovery suits. It is amazing and I would give it five stars on Amazon. In fact, I'm going to because we love it. And I think it was $20. So well worth it. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you got some good tips for your cute little dog. Bye.